And that's what they're talking about on the road to Shambhala. Everyone's kind, everyone's happy. It's like, dang, I want to live on that road. All right, today I'm checking out Three Dog Night. I'm listening to the song Shambhala. Let's get into it. Interesting. This song sounds like it could be a relative of the Kumbaya song. And I'm not saying that just because the titles sound the same, even though that is what kind of jogged my memory. It's just the feeling. You know, almost like Christmas. You know, everyone's happy, everyone's cheerful and kind. And that's what they're talking about on the road to Shambhala. Everyone's kind, everyone's happy. It's like, dang, I want to live on that road. I want to live on the road to Shambhala where everyone's kind and happy. That would be so amazing. It's like Utopia. You know, I don't believe in utopia, but if it did exist, I would 100% want to live in utopia. Who wouldn't? I can get a drama from television and things like that. I don't want it in real life. Now, what is Shambhala? I don't know if I want to go to Shambhala or live there. I just want to live on the road to Shambhala because that's where everyone's kind and happy and those kind of things. But I don't know what the heck Shambhala is, so I don't know if I want to necessarily go there. Now, Three Dog uh, Night, back to my Kumbaya theory. Doesn't Three Dog Night, don't they do religious music as well? For some reason, this one just had kind of a praise feel to it to me. You know what I mean? That's why I think it's related to Kumbaya, because Kumbaya is religious, right? Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. And then that's also just the default 
song people choose when they're trying to talk about something peaceful. Like, oh, what do you think? We're all gonna sit around in a circle singing Kumbaya? The world doesn't really work like that. You know what I mean? They use Kumbaya as like the peaceful, happy example song. But this one just had a religious feel. I think they were saying in the halls of Shambhala, how are you gonna let your light shine? Something about letting your light shine. And that specific phrase, it just feels very related to religion. Maybe that's the only time I've ever heard anyone talk about letting your light shine is in relation to religion. You know, like this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. That's the only time. I've never really heard someone talk about, I've heard people talk about shining, but not letting your light shine. It's like that phrase it just has a religious connotation to me. So I feel like this song is low key religious. What if Shambhala is some kind of religious building or place or who knows, you know, something related to it. That's my theory. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know.